In today's video, we're opening a first edition Gladiator's Assault Booster Box. What's up, guys? We are back with an epic box opening, which is this first edition Gladiator's Assault Booster Box. I'm super excited to open this thing up because you don't see these every day. You don't get to open these up every day. I think I've only opened two of the. I opened one a long time ago for pink cape i believe and then i think we did a box break at some point and now we have a third gladiators assault booster box this one was purchased from brandon c on my last whatnot stream during the magician's force break which is pretty amazing and super fun he picked this up and then later messaged me and said hey can you open this up on your channel i'm like yes definitely that would be super fun so we've got gladiators assault which is going to be pretty amazing because of all the high potential like the error ghost rare like the secret rare magic formula we'll go through that stuff as we get going but before we do that we have a giveaway i'll be giving away these three cards and silent swordsman level three dark ruler hot Dads, and black luster soldier all you have to do is like the video be subscribed turn on notifications make sure you thank brandon c down below for allowing us to open up this awesome box and if you guys want me to open something for you as well i have a lot of stuff available on ruxin 34com so go check that out all right let's crack into this first edition box this is going to be pretty intense because as i've already mentioned there's potential magic formula which is one of the rare secret rares in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, the, I was gonna say Chaos. Well, Chaos Neos is an option, but Necroface, Chaos Neos, which is, has the error, it says Rainbow Dragon. Uh, you know, it's just very confusing. A lot of crazy stuff, but here we go. Fusion misprint. We have cut it open. We have broken into the box. Let's see if this is the magical box that will have something insane inside. So let's hope so for Brandon. Let's try to get something awesome. These are, uh, there's a lot of great potential in here. There's also some ones that are not that exciting, like Cloudians, but a lot of the cards are like cloudy and stuff, but Cloudians are somewhat cool. They're just not really what you're searching for. You know, you're really looking for those big hits. There's four huge hits in here, but there's also rare. It's like, you know, very unlikely. If you hit one of them, it makes your box awesome. So hopefully that is what will happen right here 24 packs of purple goodness there's not been a lot of purple sets i don't think I'm trying to think what other purple sets have there been i'm sure there has been at some point but honestly i'm i don't know i'm not thinking of any right now what, what purple sets are there besides i don't know well this is definitely purple okay so uh, i don't know if there's one that's been here besides us but let's get to it okay so uh 2007 i believe is when these came out the misprint is really what we want to pull if you pull the misprint chaos neos ghost rare it would be pretty amazing it will be the fusion version if you're opening a gladius assault box if you're looking for the tactical evolution version it'll have to be out of uh it'll be like a i think it's the tins they say they come out of but yeah who knows let's see what we can get here one two three these are i don't know they're not one to slide very well okay witch doctor of spark Arda. let's see if we can get something awesome we have spirit of the six samurai shadow imprisoning mirror ancient gear knight i kind of forgot that was in here gladiator beast dimakari so gladiator beast obviously in gladiator's assault makes sense we have rainstorm swift strike armor chamberlain of the six samurai and we have cloudian altus so the cloudians i said there are a lot of them in here a lot of the rares used to be money but i don't know if they ever like printed those again or anything like that but they used to be a couple bucks for all those like rare cards that were like cloudians and gladiator beast i think gladiator beast stuff has gotten a reprint since then so i think a lot of those are probably more accessible but not 100 percent sure on the value of that one two three four and you can also get the chaos so the chaos neos that's the error ghost rare. you can get in a regular ghost rare. it's not an error you can get it in a secret rare it's a couple of good options we have lucky cloud let's see if we can get something big interdimensional warp cloudy and smoke ball alien hypno hypno is that a pokemon we have no entry contact out and here we go no no we're not going yet and oh cloudy and zero stratus as I said earlier you're gonna pull a lot of cloudians in this set it is one of the main archetypes in the set. So Zero Stratus, I don't remember if that's a good one or not, but back to back Cloudians. Let's save all the Cloudians for our rares and try to pull something big in our hollows, you know? I don't remember exactly what the ratios in terms of foils are in Gladiator's Assault because they started doing secret rares in this set instead. Well, not, I don't know if they even, they started with this one, but they used to do like two ultis and no secrets in the originals for GX. And then they swapped it over to having a secret and an ulti. And I think it's usually one of each, but not totally sure. Secator, Battle Halberd. I don't open these as much because they're a little bit harder to find. Over Limit. We have Magic of Flex Slime. Alien Hypno. No Entry. Contact Out. That used to be a money card. I don't think it's so much anymore. And uh, oh, okay. Coliseum, uh, Cage of the Gladiator Beast. I think this is actually a pretty decent one. Why does this card feel so thick for some reason? 
I don't know. That's interesting. But Cages of Gladiator Beast, I'm pretty sure you used like a three, four dollar card. I don't know if it still is, but that's very solid. All right, Brandon. Come on. Let's get you something good here. Get something big. So far, no foils. So we're hoping for, you know, something, obviously. That these, this card's kind of messed up. One, two, three, four. Will this be our first foil right here? Cloudy and Turbulence. We're gonna have the whole deck at the end of this. Gladiator's Return. Stealth Roid. Parry for Gladiator Beasts. Cloudy and Poison Cloud. Gladiator Beast Battle Gladius. There's so many Gladiator Beasts. I don't know why I have so much trouble saying that, but I do. Uh, Gladiator Beast Bestiari. Detonator Circle A, and we have Evil Hero Malicious, Malicious Edge. A lot of tongue twisters in this set. Malicious Edge is a pretty nice one in terms of, it can be an ultimate rare, it's actually a pretty decent ultimate. Supers are not gonna be big like value or anything like that. Supers haven't really been worth anything since the originals really, because they were like the, probably the, they were about as hard to pull as secret rares for individual supers, which is pretty crazy to think about. But yeah, now, now you know, in the newer ones, the newer you get, the less important supers are. And then eventually you get to nowadays where it's a super in every pack. Okay, and then some sets don't even have supers because they're all like secrets or ultras or something. Brandon, good luck, an unfortunate report. Hopefully not an unfortunate report for Brandon. Hopefully it will be more interesting and exciting. We have technique. Nimbus Man, Ruxin Special, Fog Control, that was my first one, Gambler of Legend, Light Imprisoning Mirror, Truckroid, and we have Cell Explosion Virus, is that Dragon Ball Z, Cell Exploding? That's pretty, pretty wild, okay. So far, one super. We've opened about five packs, something like that. This will be our sixth pack right here, quarter of the way through. Let's see if we can get a ghost. We have Gladiator Beast, Toplamus, Clouding Squall, Natural Disaster, Super Alloy Beast Raptinist, Test Ape, Super Double Summon, Magical Reflect Slime, Alien Hypno, and we have Express Roid. No, not the Roids. Look at that edge wear down there. That is not great. No more Roids, please. I'm asking for no more Roids. I'm off the Roids. That is for sure. No Roids over here. We will not be on the Roids. Let's see if we can get something that's un unrelated to Roid. How about that? Unrelated, how about something that's related to a Chaos Neo slash Rainbow Dragon? Over Limit, Gladiator Beast Secutor, Gladiator Beast Battle Halberd, Sparta Rux and Special, Swift Strike Armor, Chamber of the Six Samurai, Fog Control, Gambler of Legend, and <laughs> Energy Absorbing Monolith. This is a super that is in every Gladiator's Assault opening ever. It is a fact. If you open Gladiator's Assault, you will get the Energy Absorbing Monolith. Whether it be ulti, whether it be super, you're gonna get one. And uh, yeah, that's why we're not super pumped. I mean, it's not nothing too crazy there. What I would be pumped about is a Magic Formula, a Necroface, a Chaos Neos Ghost Rare, Chaos Neos Ghost Rare, Rainbow Dragon Misprint, Fusion Version, Let's see, Turbulence, we have a Gladiator's Return, Stealthroid, Summon Cloud, Gladiator Beast Demakari, Rainstorm, A Cell Incubator, and oh, it's a fusion. <clears throat> it's a fusion. Okay. Okay. I don't know if there's any fusion rares. There probably is. There's definitely some fusion, other fusion cards. <sighs> Could this be it? Could this be either Chaos Neos Secret, Chaos Neos Ghost, or Chaos Neos Rainbow Dragon Misprint? Hopefully the latter. Here we go. 3,000. You know what that means. The Secret Rare Elemental Hero, Chaos Neo. So it wasn't the Misprint or the Ghost Rare, but this is still an absolutely amazing card. It's the cover card. Obviously, we can look at another pack. Check that out. We just pulled the secret rare elemental hero chaos neos that is such a cool looking card how's the centering look it's a little bit pushed that way how's the back look looks pretty clean for the most part maybe a little dimple there in the middle but overall pretty good that's a nice card that's a beautiful looking card it, look i was hoping the ghost share i i mean i had my hopes up when we saw it was definitely i mean probably a chaos neos it has the blue eye stats i don't think that rules it out though i don't think i think you can still get a ghost share and get a secret we'll have to find out we won't find out for sure unless we pull a ghost rare, then we'll know that you can, but uh, that's a big pull. That's a really good one. So two supers, one secret so far. Ultimate rares in here. There's not a lot of huge ultis in here, which is pretty weird. Like there's a lot of ultis, but none of them are that crazy. So, I mean, we still want one, obviously. There's a sheep cloud. That is a classic super. It's a beautiful looking holographic though. Look at that. That's nice looking. Four hollows have been pulled. So four out of 10, that's a lot of hollows. I feel like hollows, foils. I don't know what I'm supposed to call them. 
Sometimes people get mad at me for calling them Pokemon names or magic names. I don't know which one goes with which. I don't know which one's a Pokemon name, which one's a magic, which one's Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm just calling it what I think it is, right? Okay, four from the back. And I'm probably going to mess it up. We have Secutor. How, what do we call a Elemental Hero Chaos Neos Gosher? Do we call that a hollow uh, foil? I mean, what? I feel like we'll be okay. If we pull that, it doesn't matter what it's called. Chamberlain, Fog Control, Gambler of Legend, Light Imprisoning Mirror. It's a classic. And another fusion. Another fusion. Oh, Dark Gaia. I forgot about that. Rare Dark Gaia. Actually a nice card as well. Pretty crazy in duelings for a while, actually. Surprise, surprise. Last pack on the right side. We did shuffle these up just for suspense. And so far, we've already pulled four foils. No ultras, no ultis, just a secret and three supers. Four from the back. Here we go. Natural disaster. No, thank you. We have super uh, beast, super alloy beast raptinus. Okay. Lucky cloud. Interdimensional warp. Infinity dark. Swift strike armor. Chamberlain the six samurai. Fog control and another fusion. Oh, Evil Hero Inferno Wing. That's an ultra rare. That's actually a pretty good ulti if we get that one. That would be a nice one. Inferno Wing. Beautiful looking card. Centering is pretty solid on it. A little bit pushed up. That's a nice looking card. I think maybe not an expensive ultra, like crazy expensive. I don't know what the PSA would go for. PSA 10. All right, on to the second half. I'm liking this opening so far. It's been pretty good. Glass, but you know what could really make it crazy? I, the thing is with the secret, we're probably not getting a magic formula or a necroface, which look, I've never gotten it before. I'm not expecting to get them now, but hey, who knows? Maybe we'll get one now. Bestiari, detonator circle. Come on, baby. Test ape and oh, a security orb. This is an ulti that's pretty rare, actually. Whoa, there's something on there. No, that's the artwork. Okay, wait, is that the artwork? <gasps> oh my gosh, that's not the artwork. This card is bent right out of the pack oh my gosh it was the last one on the bottom i wonder if that's why i don't see anything on the box thank goodness it was just an ultra i mean an ultra is pretty big but if it was like an ulti or a ghost or secret or something that would really hurt but wow wow that's crazy there, there doesn't seem to be any sign on the pack or on the i think this was the pack doesn't seem to be any sign of it like getting damaged in the box. I wonder if that card was damaged like in the factory. That is, that's a, no, it was the top card. Wait, no, that was the top card. I don't see anything. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Sometimes crazy stuff like that can happen on some of the cards, but it just feels bad when it does. Cause that's straight out of a sealed box too. Like you don't expect that to happen. Even though it is old, a lot of the time, you know, most of the time it's fine. Okay, well, I'm hoping that nothing like that happens on the rest of them. That is a bummer. Lucky Cloud, we have Interdimensional Warp. Cloudy and Smoke Ball. Let's see if we can get an ulti that is not damaged. No entry, we have Contact Out. Infinity Dark. Swift Strike Armor and Cloudy and Acid Cloud. Okay, that's so weird. I'm just weirded out by that. That's so strange. First edition Gladiator's Assault. Can you give us something big to make up for that? I mean, look, Gladiator's Assault, you gotta make up for that damage card, okay? I know we got Chaos and Eos, but still. You gotta make up for that. Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, Ancient Gear Knight, an unfortunate report. <laughs> they did warn us. They said there was an unfortunate report. They did warn us. Light Imprisoning Mirror, Truck Roid, Summon Cloud. I said no more, no more roids too. And uh, Mermillo. Okay, that's a classic rare. No Laquaries yet. That's, that should be in here. I think all Bestiari, Laquari, and Mermillo were all in here. So two Ultras, three Supers, one Ulti so far is what we've gotten. Lia, Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, Gear Knight. Swing of Memories, Double Edged Sword Technique, Truckroid, Summon Cloud, Gladiator Beast Makari, Rainstorm, and oh, Gladiator Beast Respite. So more and more Gladiator Beast cards make sense in Gladiator's Assault. First edition, come on, Brandon, we need some luck for you because he had some good luck and then some bad luck. So we need to turn it more in the good luck's favor with this next pack. Let's go four from the back. We have Gladiator Smoke Ball, Over Limit, Gladiator Beast Secutor, Halberd, come on, Gambler of Legend, Light Imprisoning Mirror, Truckroid, Summon Cloud, and Evil Hero Infernal Gainer. We ain't gaining right now. We want to be gaining. Oh, that was two, two packs. Need some luck right here. Come on, Glass. I know you can do it, Glass. You can give us something good. We have the Over Limit, Secutor, Halberd, Witch Doctor of Sparta, Super Double Summon, Alien Hypno, No Entry, 
Contact out and... Oh, the evil hero Inferno Wing. I mentioned it earlier. Okay, check the card. Okay, nothing is damaged. Okay. Whew. All right. Inferno Wing. I said this is one of the good ultis, actually, and we did get it. Centering, of course, is off, but hey, that's still a nice card. Inferno Wing looks pretty good. I think for the most part, it looks pretty solid. Definitely doesn't have a big crease in the middle of it. Thank goodness. Oh, my goodness. So we've gotten an ulti. We've gotten a secret. We've gotten two ultras. We've gotten three supers. So that's... uh. Seven, seven foils. Can we get a ghost rare to top it off? Get all the rarities. Let's hope we can do that. That would be pretty awesome. That would make this really crazy. Wait, even if it's the regular ghost rare, it'd be amazing. One, two, three, four. We have Lucky Cloud, Interdimensional Warp, Cloudy and Smoke Ball, Over Limit, Disarm, Foolish Revival. These cards do not want to slide. Poison Cloud, we have Ladder Beast Battle Hall, Gladius, and Goblin Black Ops. The Black Ops are back. Still a few packs. Still a little bit of hope to hold out. One day I'm going to pull one of those awesome four cards. There's four cards I've not pulled that I want to hit. Four with all the glass we've opened. Three boxes. Tons of loose packs. I mean, tons. I don't really expect much out of those, but we haven't gotten much. Stealthroid. Perry. Glad to be Soplimus. Cloudy and Squall. Cloudy and Ghost Fog. Disarm. Cloudy and Poison Cloud. Gladiator Beast, Battle Gladius, and oh, another fusion. The Gallo Diaz. Gallo Diaz. That was used to be a $3 card. Don't know if it still is. We pulled seven foils. That used to be the old ratio. And then, you know, they started doing more in like 5Ds, but maybe they started in GX. I don't know when they started. One, two. Hopefully, we get a couple more. We have Secutor, Halberd, Witch Doctor of Sparta, Natural Disaster, Bestiari, Detonator Circle A, Test Ape. Super Double Summon and Cloudy and Eye of the Typhoon. So we did get another one, another super. That gives us four supers, two ultras, one ulti, one seeker. Three packs left. Now just give us a ghost rare. Ninth foil ghost rare right here for Brandon. Been pretty, I mean, a pretty good ulti, a pretty good secret. It hasn't been a bad box, but really we want to get that ghost. That's what we want. Swing of memories, double edged sword technique, Nimbus Man. We have release from stone, Rainstorm, A Cell Incubator. Cloudy and Ghost Fog, Disarm, and Alien Telepath. Okay, two backs left. The Telepath has returned. I think that one got like a speed duel print or something. I don't remember when that was, but maybe it was a collector rare set it was in. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it got a reprint because that one was also like four bucks. Four from the back. We've got Release from Stone, Cloudy and Turbulence, Soul Devouring Bamboo Sword, Gladiator's Return, Summon Cloud, Demakari, Rainstorm, a cell incubator and gladiator beast laquari i said we hadn't got one we got one last pack magic guys basically it feels like we pulled like every card like all the rares that you could want we got one of each basically but we have not yet pulled we have pulled a chaos neos we have not yet pulled a ghost or an error let's do it on the last pack magic one two three four can we make it happen natural disaster raptinus lucky cloud warp rocks and special Gladiator Beast, Bestie. Why is that a common? And then Mermillo and Laquaria rares. That's kind of weird. Uh, Detonator Circle A, because they're all pretty good. Death Tape and Bestiari could be the best one, you could argue. Summon, and we have final card of the box. Shout out to Brandon for letting us open this box. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more epic content like this. And if you want to pick something up from my website, ruxon34.com, and have me open it, let me know. Here we go. Oh, okay, the uh, Diamond Dust Cyclone. So we'll have to wait another day for Necroface, Magic Formula, or any of the errors or ghost rares, but this is still super fun. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffin Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Another Side Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barney, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.